Gaia and welcome to Two Nerds Talking. Today we're here talking about Hood Feminism by Nikki Kendall. So just reading this book, what was like your favorite thing about it? Honestly, I love how open she was about talking about the differences in feminism for people of color versus like white people, like white women. And I think it's really cool that she had experiences that connected to feminism to the point where she was able to talk about it more in a deeper level. Yeah, I agree with what you said about how she really brought in her own experiences into the conversation every single chapter. Every single chapter she had like a personal experience to bring to the conversation. I think, and I think that made it a lot easier to her to explain because she knows what it's like to experience the situations. And so she really had like some personal insight that I think really added to the value of this book. I absolutely agree. Did you have a favorite chapter? I like the one about I think reproductive justice just because there was this one paragraph where it brought in like so many different topics from previous chapters I thought it was just like showed how well like the book was connected all together there was one part I forgot exactly which page but there was a, a paragraph where she was where she was talking about how sometimes women of color or women from like women with like low incomes or like judged for getting abortions but it's like when you think about how like these women may not have like access to secure housing and don't have access to get to food consistently, they don't have the money to get their kids an education or for clothes, how can you judge them for like making the choices that they need to survive? Yeah, I absolutely agree. I think um, the points that she made about, you know, reproductive rights, they were very, very clear and very personal because, I mean, she, she stated that she had like several or I think three miscarriages. Mm -hmm. And for her to be able to speak on that, um, like on behalf of women that have had to have like life saving abortions, it's like very, very deep and very personal for her. Mm -hmm. Another thing I really liked throughout the book is how she was never scared to like, kind of confront like um, feminists that don't, I guess I don't acknowledge people that aren't like them. Yeah. But I think at the very beginning, she was like, you know, this is, this is going to be like a nice feminist book. And I really like how she like really stuck to that point where yeah. she wasn't, where she wasn't going to like kind of sugarcoat anything. Like she really made sense. She really made a point of being like, you should like, if you're not doing, if you're not kind of supporting women that are marginalized, if you're not supporting women that are lower income, if you're not supporting women that aren't like you, you're not really a feminist. And I like how she wasn't afraid to say it. Yeah. I feel like she was so bold with her points, but she was still comfortable saying them because... I mean, she made a lot of points that were very, like, eye-opening, almost. Uh -huh. I never really, not that I never think about it, but I don't think about it to the level that she brought up um, in the differences between feminism for people of color and white women. And it was very, very interesting to read. It was all, overall, like, a really, really good book, and I definitely recommend it. I mean, you already asked me this question, but for you, was there a favorite chapter? Um, honestly, I feel like the points she brought up about reproductive rights and um, the chapter on eating disorders in women, I feel like that was very, um, it was very, it was very deep and personal. And I know I, I've said that before, but I think like that chapter really, really stuck with me. Mm -hmm. um, who would you recommend this book to? overall i see this book is definitely like a really good intro for, to anyone who like really wants to get deeper into feminism but hasn't really thought about how so many different identities can like affect women's experiences and i think this is book i think this is really great also for like teenagers like us because i feel like it's important for us to be like more socially aware and i feel like you know maybe for like some younger people you haven't for young people that haven't ex that haven't been experienced the experiences that this woman has, I feel like for them to be able to understand how to be better allies, for them to understand what it's like, or for them to be kind of to look at through someone else's eyes, I think it's really important to do that when you're young because you, you don't want. I don't think it's good for people to grow up and like you know still be ignorant. I, feel I like absolutely agree. Yeah, I think you should get rid of those biases when you're young because yeah. I think it's kind of. I'm just not saying it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to like be older and not like and still be like seeing ignorant things to people and like be like, oh, just like only see things from your perspective. And I think it's really good for young people to read this book. I absolutely agree. It's so important for people, especially in, you know, like our generation mm -hmm. and generations to come 
and even like generations before us to you know grow on their ideas on feminism and just you know the world in general because the statements she made in this book were very um, real and still very relevant to us and they still will be relevant for you know many years to come because it's such a such a personal book mm -hmm. I just think overall this book is just really like it really confronts so many issues that people are just scared to talk about and I really appreciate how it made me consider some things that I hadn't before because I always thought like when she when she mentioned like housing when she mentioned like gun violence when she mentioned hunger never I always saw those as kind of like I always thought they were social issues but I never strictly saw them as feminist issues and so yeah. I think it was really important for me to acknowledge that yeah as well. me too I feel like like subjects are overlooked in terms of feminism and the subjects that she brought up in this book it really she really made those connections relevant mm -hmm. in terms of feminism and I really appreciated that yeah, I think overall I'm just like really, really happy I read this book. Me too. Yeah, I think it was it was definitely a really, really good read. Thank you for listening to Two Nerds Talking. Comment what you want us to read next month. Our next episode will be out April 29th. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.